So guys, what is up? Bonks Basil here, and today we will be starting with the seeding over there in the 9RX. But first, I have I have actually sold our Stara sprayer because I found a John Deere sprayer, which does look pretty. It, uh, it's a pretty awesome sprayer. So the first thing we're going to do is buy ourselves a new sprayer. Okay, that's what we're going for. The sprayer section so 168 here they are we might even get into them to do some spraying today but the first port of call today is very definitely going to be planting I have gone through and limed and subsoiled field 7 as well so now all of our fields are uh, there's a tiny bit that I missed way up there again there so yeah it is time to start the drilling so <laughs> oh I, am I just going to I am just going to miss that I think I'm just going to leave that with a drill of this width missing a little bit isn't my biggest worry I'm not really used to using these big air cart seeders and things because I don't really play on maps with of this size with this sort of a budget so it is actually quite nice be on a map with quite such a large fun stash available so I have just you might have heard it I double tapped X which is basically the way of enabling fast farming which is why you can see our speed is slowly creeping up which is no bad thing if you ask me so the the game engine thinks the device isn't in the ground which is why it's unlocked our speed essentially however the game engine also thinks it is in the ground which is why it's allowing us to be planting so I then come through turn it off let it unfold turn it on lower it and then double tap X and it allows me to fast farm now GPS on lock onto a course cruise control get rid of those red dots because they're horrible and um, yeah I am on variable spray rate variable fertilizer spread um, which I have set to I don't want F1 I want F1 350 litres per there, which is seeming about right so I think I'm gonna leave it for that for this field now I am just going to put soybeans into this field to start with so let's get that set on the new course come over the edge and start it and yeah 
So I will now just crack on with fast farming this field, which is actually quite good fun. Down below are some links in which you can donate to the channel, but mainly because if you guys want to see more awesome contents, different games, things like that, not all of them I can just I can't just really afford to go out and buy game after game after game after game after game to make three videos on and then not really play if I don't enjoy it. However with money through donations either through there are two links down below PayPal where you can make a one off donation or I also do have a Patreon page where you can pledge X amount in dollars because it is an American site. I don't even know what I'm doing there looking through the cedar. You can pledge X amount in dollars per month and then that's just a monthly recurring donation. So if you guys want to support the channel via a donation feel free to. The links are down below. If you guys don't wish to make a donation but still want to support the channel click that subscribe button I've been looking at the numbers and a I can't remember the percentage at the top of my head but it's something ridiculous over the past six weeks less than over the past four weeks something like 70 60 or 70 percent of my viewers aren't subscribed so by subscribing to the channel you would really help support help grow the channel help support because the more subscribers and the more views get out the more the higher generally ranked the videos are in YouTube's algorithm which means the more reach I get which means the more subscribers I'm likely to get which means the closer to monetization I get which means the better content I can create so the more you support me, either through subscribing and sharing amongst your friends, or through donations, the more better content I can create. Let's keep going with the seeding. And I think actually I'm going to put oats in both fields. And then I might even get a station, uh, set up a stationary bale, sh so I'll bale it. And then I might even get the straw harvest shredder and then shred the bales. So, yeah, I think that is the plan. I don't need to refuel, so I won't. However, I think it might get a bit in our way. So, I'll just come off the course. Indeed it did, and I still managed to press into it. So if I turn that off, I can just tab through the crops. Oats. Okay, so we are putting oats in the ground. We have 12 rows to plant. 12 runs to plant. You think of it like that, it's nothing. That whole field was 12 passes. This is going to be another 12 passes, as is that one. Just 12 passes. I don't know whether it would actually be quicker to go up and down the field or not. But as I've already got this GPS course set, I'm going to stick it, leave it on this one. I am going to do both fields of oats, so I'll go all the way down all the way back and just plant them both at the same time and then yeah by the time we've taken in these harvests that soybean that big field of soybeans is going bearing in mind field eight of soybeans net us about on a with soybeans at a good price it got us about 300 grand we're gonna get close to a million off that big field when it comes to harvest 
so we might we will definitely plus these two smaller oat fields will probably net us 500 3 to 500k each so we'll be close to buying another plot of land okay guys we are coming up on the final pass now if I get my buttons all right and as you can see we are running very low on both seed and fertilizer but we have completed the planting of all of our fields although I did I have made a little oopsie there you can see I didn't quite turn off the drill in time and just caught the edge of that field I'm probably just gonna leave it you guys but yeah for those of you who don't know about base game fast farming and who are interested put it into YouTube just search um, FS19 fast farming watch the DJ Goham video I'm sort of wondering where I'm going to park this monstrosity because I don't really have a suitable shed space for it and I do not want to unhook it because it's a devil to hook back up so I think I'm just going to plonk it out here guys let's have a look at fertilizing field 2 yeah field 2 is a pretty decent sized field I'm gonna take field 2 except and what is 6 like six again isn't too bad so again I'm going to accept that so I'm just going to tab through to our John Deere standard drive it over to our multi filling station and get it all filled up with um liquid fertilizer 6,000 pounds worth of liquid fertilizer drop an A point drop a B point and set off on the course. I know we're losing a bit on the edge of the boom, but never mind. Can lower the boom there. Yeah, that does look better with the boom down rather than up. But yeah. So I will crack on with this and might even see you guys at the end of field six okay so guys thank you so much for watching we are nearing the end of this tanker load and I, you will be given some options up on the screen subscribe if you're not already subscribed because a high percentage of you are watching these videos unsubscribed like comment share do all that good stuff you, there will be my latest video and whatever YouTube thinks of mine you should be watching next up on the screen for you now. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay safe with what's going on, obey what your local governments and local authorities are telling you and see you in the next one.